I would say my hero and the most remarkable person I have the honor of having as a friend of over 30 years, Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger. Thank you very much, Bob. I think we have to pick out another medal or something so we can give it to you. Uh, you deserve it. You're doing extraordinary work. I first want to say just uh, that everyone has been introduced except one man, which is here, Joe Manganello, who is a great, great actor, True Blood television series, and also with me in the Sabotage, which is a movie that's coming out very soon, and I know all of you have already a ticket. That you have seen. <laughs> <laughs> Give a big hand to Joe Manganiello. And uh, I want to say congratulations to all of you. You've done a great job, and uh, any, I mean, I just have to say that it's really extraordinary, not only as a, as a wrestler, obviously we know that the great history uh, of you, but I mean, what you've done just this uh, very recently uh, with the wrestling sport. I mean, you know, when something gets kicked out of the Olympics, I mean, he made it sound like, okay, I got a bunch of people together and I, I, I woke up the wrestlers, and then we got back in again in the Olympics. That's not the way it works. Okay, the Olympics is very tough to get any sport in, especially a sport that they voted out to get it reinstated and to get it brought back in is an enormous feat. And uh, it takes a lot of work, a lot of talent and great leadership. And you had that. And you brought the sport back. So congratulations. Because of get it sometimes with the Olympics because I mean you watch the Winter Olympics and they have the same sport over and over and over. I mean how many times can you see snowboarding? And then it's two the snowboarding together, then they're snowboarding over a jump and then they do another jump, then there's a different medal for another jump and then they do the so it goes on and on and then they take wrestling, the original Greek uh, Bro. I mean the yeah. sport. Yeah. I mean the thing was the original Olympics, that's what we put out so many must be something loose up there. Exactly. <laughs> 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 but, uh, but anyway, so that's besides my, uh, you know, Lee, I just want to say that you deserve this medal because uh, you have always been a great champion. And even though I hated you for a night, <laughs> <laughs> when you beat my record, <laughs> and I had seven Mr. Olympias, and then all of a sudden he had to get eight. I mean, what's what the matter with you? <laughs> for the elders or something like that. But anyway, so I, uh, you know, but because you're one of those guys also, uh, just like Daniel, that continues on. You're not finished when you're finished when you're competing. You continue on working for the sport and uh, promoting fitness, and I know with your after-school programs and all the stuff that you're doing down in Atlanta, I mean, it's really great, great work, and uh, I always, also love always, Danny always, I mean, uh, uh, Lee always came kind of like, dressed like a champion, I mean, look at him, <laughs> dressed like a champion, because I do hate, I do hate when bodybuilders run around in their gym outfits on the street, and when they go out and stuff like that, I just think it looks like some little boyish, and they just despise it. I think people should be dressed up, they should have a nice jacket, nice slacks, and all this stuff, and this is the way he's dressed, and I like that, you know? Uh, and, and, you know, this, you know what I'm talking about. I'll tell you one thing, that if, uh, if uh, uh, Mark can find a suit, in the jacket, <laughs> and you know that anyone can find those <laughs> but, but anyway, so I just want to just go down the line. Thank you also for the great work that you've done, and you really will break through as a woman. Now, of course, there's a lot of girls that are doing the, the sport and martial arts and all this kind of, you know, cage fighting and UFC and uh, whatever else, boxing. And uh, But uh, you were one of the first ones that really break through with that. And Stason, uh, you know, I'm a big fan of yours. And I think what uh, Bob said uh, about, the, you know, your stunts and all of these things, I was one of them that was very skeptical when I read. I said, you know, Jason is doing his own stunts. I said, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, I was very fortunate to go and be in the set, you know, and do Expendables. Expendables 1, Expendables 2, Expendables 3. And all of a sudden I saw him in action. And I said to myself, I just couldn't believe it. 
because this guy, there was no stunt guy there doubling him. There was him there doing all of the action. It was so fast and so furious and so powerful and so believable everything. So congratulations, you are a great athlete and of course an extraordinary actor. And you have a huge career in front of you and you're, you're going up like, uh, you know, skyrocketing as it, as it is already. Because you have my nephew uh, doing your legal work, so this is So congratulations, give him a big hand also. And then indeed I just want to say one brief thing here, and that is um, I mean she is very humble. And she says, you know, it was so wonderful to marry into the leader family and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> but let me tell you something. I have seen it firsthand. Joe Weider got to a certain place. And it was a powerful place. He did extraordinary work to make body building popular and to publish all those magazines, to promote it around the world. And so it was with Ben Weider creating the Federation and uh, getting it in all these different countries and so on. But when Betty Rita came into the game, and she convinced Joe to have the Shape magazine, and to put more women's stuff into the magazine, so that is when the business really took off. Because there was a whole other half, to the women, that were totally kind of disregarded at that time. Just around the martial arts and other sports, there was nothing of it, there was but women. There was a few men who gym training, but were considered I mean, kind of women. But then Betty comes in and she convinced her to the training program out there, pictures in some original articles, she find the women out there, in the book women magazine, to actually create a magazine for that was all. She that's when things made fun. And I was also there when she gave you to be the guys each. What kind of make it photographs more in an official public? Because Betty always for the Jim Joe you think. So the hot thing was all that is 500 doing everything what a what a quad it just wants wants to live pounds but Joe said oh but the guy here uh, didn't shake all right and say all right baby all right baby anyway so this was my Joe did it and then opened up the magazine and it was caught off the we as you should know, we have been fighting for many, many decades at the fitness school site. To go out there and tell the world to train and to exercise, to lift weights, to do fitness activities and all this. And the readers, without any doubt, were a huge contribution to this fitness crusade. And that's why we have come as far as we have come. But Betty was right there as part of a, the leadership in the Weeder Corporation to make the magazine move up and up and up and to spread the fitness crusade and to make it successful. So Betty, I just want to say thank you very much for all the work that you've done and I love posing with you on the beach. That was always my favorite and Joe called me and he said, oh, I'm going to bring Betty and we're going to do some shots on the beach. I said to myself, this is going to be great, I'm going to hold her. And my bicep, like, and my bicep, I remind you, was exactly one inch bigger than Betty's waist. The <laughs> waist was this tiny, and everything else was just really well developed. I mean, you know, you know, the bottom line was it was a fun day. She made it fun and everything, and it was great always to, we've done many cover shots together. So anyway, congratulations for the great work that you've been doing. All my heroes, I mean, from Bruno San Martino. I mean, Bruno, I mean, I've watched him wrestling uh, for so many years, and uh, when he was the big champion, and he was, when he was throwing people around, and he was the only one that could really lift up guys that were 400 pound heavy over his head. I mean, imagine that and throwing them down. So I want to kind of say thank you to all of you for your great contribution that you have made. And, um, and Bob, uh, thank you for the great work that you're doing here. And like I said, we're going to create a medal for you because you have been. No, but uh, really, come here. I, just want to, I, just, I, I, I really, come here. I really mean it. That it is. Really, everything that I've done, this man here was an uh, enthusiastic support. If it was with the President's Council on Fitness and it was the chairman, he was helping. 
when we uh, did our events here every year in Columbus, he was there supporting us and drug testing, bodybuilding. He was there to help us with the magazines, to write articles, interesting articles from a doctor's point of view. He helped us. I mean, every step of the way, we were just really fantastic. And now again, with the environmental issues and with, the, with all the other stuff, getting our uh, Arnold's Classic event to Asia, you were there to help us. So uh, thank you very much for the great contribution the that boss. you make. No, no, yeah, I'm not the boss. Yeah, I do. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> and he's the, the real deal. This guy, how much was your record in, in, in push-ups? I had like 20 over. I said, how many push-ups did you do? Uh, three hundred twenty-one handstand push-ups. Three handstand push-ups, not regular push-ups. No, 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 no. Ask you for the people because they don't do it. Was I know, but I mean, you know, have a few thousand push-ups. Okay, so in any case, what it said is, and it's the real deal. He was really fit, he was strong, and he really can do uh, things that uh, you and I. Have. Cannot be We always part of our